Uh, I've never been to an event like this, so uh, it's been very interesting, and thank you all for having me. Um, but, but it seems like... Uh, <laughs> Thank you for setting up such an event. It seems like that when all of the evidence points logically to the conclusion of a god, that you tend to come up with a different hypothesis. So what's confusing to me as watching you be the atheist viewpoint, it seems like rather than look at the evidence and just see where it leads, you start with the position that God doesn't exist and then see if the evidence can get you there. And then when it doesn't, you come up with a different hypothesis. And my question is simply, is that true what I feel like, or, or am I wrong? Uh, I, I think you're wrong, if I've understood you correctly. I mean, I think I'm exactly looking at the evidence. I'm looking at the world around us. I'm seeing what a mess it is, what an awful place in many ways. All of these people who are poor and hungry and starving and all of the animal suffering that is going on. And I'm saying this is evidence against the existence of a God according to the Christian model. I think I'm exactly looking at the evidence. And I don't see the evidence that you refer to, uh, you seem to be referring to, for the existence of this God. I just don't see any evidence that stands up to any critical examination. Dinesh D'Souza, brief reply. Look, ultimately here, let's take one, on, one more look at this issue of suffering. Because in a sense it's being mounted as Job did as a complaint against God. And the argument would go something like this. God, why don't I have both my hands? Now the question you have to ask is, if, if it is the case that there is a God, and if there, it is the case that He created us, all living creatures have give, been given something to which they are not entitled in any way, namely life itself. Even the person who has little or who is suffering is often clinging to life, which is to say life is valuable to us. We're still in the plus column because we want to keep living. And so what I'm getting at is, do we really have a legitimate complaint against God by saying, in a sense, I've only got one hand, that guy has two. Why did you make me with one hand? Or why did you give me cancer so I have only 47 years of life when I could have had 70? It seems to me that these complaints ring hollow when you consider that our entire life and everything we have is, in fact, a gift from God. So on the premise that God exists, which was his premise, it looks to me that he has not done anything to any of us that has put us in the negative column. We still, in a sense, are on the positive side of the ledger because we still have something to which we have no claim and no right against him, namely the gift of life itself. Sorry, sorry but I can't resist saying on this argument, a baby who's damaged because her mother took cocaine during pregnancy has no complaints at all too. Before because her mother gave her the gift of life. So she shouldn't complain because of the fact that she's damaged because the mother took cocaine. It's pretty much like the analogy Dinesh gave us. Question for Dinesh D'Souza. I was given the impression... Uh, with nice and loud, right into the microphone. I was given an impression uh, while you were debating Daniel Dennett at Tufts University that you're a macroevolutionist. Um, is this true? The question is, am I a macroevolutionist? Well, I'm not a biologist, uh, but I can say what I think about it. Uh, and that is, look, um, I think that in some ways, look, I don't have a problem with ma macroevolution. It seems to me that if the, if the um, dachshund and the Saint Bernard, two species of dog, could have a common ancestor, it's possible that the dog and the wolf could have a common ancestor, even if they are separate and distinct species. But here's the point I want to make. It's not that I object to ma macroevolution, but what I object to is the fact that there are many people who take legitimate biological science and they smuggle atheist assumptions into it. There's a difference between evolution, which I don't have a problem with, and metaphysical Darwinism, which is atheism riding under the banner of science. So what often happens is you'll have a, a reasonable statement about the fossil record, and then someone will jump to this. And therefore we conclude that Darwin has shown that you can have the appearance of design without a designer. Here I'm quoting Richard Dawkins. Or that this has rendered the possibility of a god superfluous. There's a lot in Peter Singer's own writing that's of this ilk. 
And it seems to me that it's an attempt to illegitimacy use the moral prestige of science, which has a lot of prestige in our society, to ultimately push an atheist agenda. No, actually, we're going to move on. Brief reply by Peter Singer. Yes, um, I'm glad that Dinesh acknowledges that evolution is the best explanation of how we've come to be how we are. I don't agree that um, it necessarily, um, that, that there is a kind of this metaphysical atheism. I think that evolution does undermine one important argument for the existence of God, which, which people believed before we had evolution, and that is the argument from design, that things fit together in such a way that they had to be designed. Evolution shows that that's not true, and as Dinesh says in his book, it's amply supported by the fact that looking at all of the fossil record, we never find one of the earlier forms of life in a later strata of rocks. Uh, for example, we don't find humans with dinosaurs in the same strata of rocks. So it's amply supported, and it does undermine one of the traditional arguments for the existence of God. It's not incompatible with the existence of God, but it is incompatible perhaps with a literal understanding of, uh, the, first, uh, of, of the opening of Genesis. Before we go to the next question, two prizes. My book goes to Jonathan Bates, La Mirada, Jonathan Bates, La Mirada, and a subscription to Philosophia Christi, our journal, uh, Robert Stevenson of Fullerton. Sir, your question. My all suffering is due to crimes committed in a prior life. In my scenario, that suffering is corrective in nature and therefore good and not bad. So how is it in the absence of an objective moral standard against which you and I can measure our views, your view would be qualitatively superior to my view? Well, if your suggestion is that um, you, know, you believe in reincarnation and that the reason that <coughs> a kangaroo dies slowly of thirst in the drought <coughs> is that in a prior life this kangaroo was uh, Hitler or someone like that, um, I have to say, I just find this completely incredible. <laughs> well, I can't see any reason for believing that and I don't even understand what it would be like to punish Hitler by making a kangaroo suffer in a drought. Would you like to respond? Well, I, I think the sort of flippancy of that answer shows that you're missing one of the great themes of all the great religions of the world, which is the belief in cosmic justice. In other words, we all live in a world where things are unfair. Often the bad guy ends up on top, the good guy comes to grief. And um, so we say that what goes around comes around, but we know it isn't always true. Now the point is that, in a sense, the great religions of the world say that even though life is unfair, there is a sort of ultimate fairness. There's cosmic justice. So reincarnation, whether you believe in it or not, and I don't believe in it, but nevertheless, it's, it is addressing the issue of do people in some ultimate sense get their just desserts? Christianity agrees with that and calls it the last judgment. So I think in a sense, we are, we are trying to speculate about something that is outside the bounds of human experience. And while you say that that's fanciful, I could, he could just as easily turn around and say that for you to speculate on the intentions of God would be sort of like an ant speculating on why humans have created the cities that we have, any answer is bound to be ridiculous.